Hi everyone, Steve from The Audio Files. How are you today? Today, I just wanted to do a quick video. I know there's tons of videos out there about Miles Davis's kind of blue album. Analog Productions came out with uh, an UHQR version back in May of last year, and I wanna compare that today to my classic records pressing that I uh, have. That came out in 2002, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click on that button, click on it, click on the bell. I'm gonna have a drive to 2,000 subscribers. Each subscriber has a chance to win prizes from my friends at audiounity.ca, cables, speakers, MoFi, vinyl, you name it, they have it. They'll be giving away prizes uh, to my subscribers on this channel. Um, there will be some MoFi albums that I will be giving away once we hit 2,000 subscribers. So please click on that button and we'll see you on the other side. Talk about Miles Davis's Kind of Blue. Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, the biggest selling jazz album of all time. Over 5 million albums shipped worldwide since its release in 1959. I'm comparing the analog productions to the classic records pressing. Now, both of these pressings, just so everyone knows, the same metal was used to press both of these albums. So I want to discuss what differences the sounds are. Uh, between the UHQR version and the classic records 200 gram pressing. So Miles Davis recorded this album between March and April of 1959. It was released in August of 1959. Davis, of course, was on saxophone. We got John Coltrane, Julian Cannibal Adderley. We got Bill Evans on piano, bassist Paul Chambers and drummer Jimmy Cobb. As well, we had Winton Kelly who was also on piano, uh, appearing in one track, replacing Evans on Freddie Freeloader. It's just so, a little back history there. So, Analog Productions came out with this beauty in May of 2021, just last year. They're gonna press uh, 25,000 of these albums. Um, there's gonna be another pressing, a 45 RPM pressing. I believe they're maxing out at 6,000. Back in 2002, Classic Records, which Analog Productions bought all of their inventory, including all the metal, um, released this album. This is on a 200 gram pressing QX SVP vinyl. Um, it's very heavy vinyl. I can just show you guys this here, what it looks like. Other side here, you can see the 6i Columbia. Very, very heavy, uh, heavy vinyl. Very nice pressing. And of course, if you don't know already, Analog Productions came out with their Clarity Vinyl, UHQR Clarity Vinyl, as you can see here. Um, I mean, quiet, drop a pin on it, drop a pin, you can't hear a thing once uh, you uh, put that needle down in the leading groove, it's, it's incredible. So really, I mean, what are the differences between these two albums in terms of sound? Well, <laughs> The classic records one I can tell you um, from a lot of the research I've done, some of my viewers that I've spoken with, right off the lead-in groove, there's a lot of surface noise um, and it goes all the way through, all the way through each track, side one, side two. You're hearing that throughout the record. Now I'm not sure, I mean, I think that is more of a, um, probably something to do with the vinyl um, that classic records used because once, you start playing the Miles Davis UHQR version. Wow, what a difference. The vinyl is silent. Right out of the gate, you just hear all the instruments just pop. You hear this, you hear Davis's saxophone just pop. You hear the drums, the bass, and the pianos are so clear. There's so much clarity, so much more soundstage to this album. And I think really the big difference is really between classic records and the UHQR. Really, the big difference, I think, between the Classic Records one and this one here by Analog Productions, the UHQR vinyl, is really the compound used. Just such quiet vinyl throughout the entire album. It was pin drop quiet. Like I said, really better soundstage, more clarity, um, more defined. The instruments were more defined throughout the entire album. It is a real pleasure and joy to really hear exactly what are on the master tapes. Now, this one was mastered by none other than Bernie Grunman from Bernie Grunman Studios. 
If you haven't picked this one up, grab it. I mean, I have number uh, 20,552, uh, which is the second run pressed by Analog Productions. I know I've heard that there are some issues with the first run, but this one here, no problems at all. It has just been an incredible listen to. I've listened to it yeah, just yesterday. I had it on my uh, turntable all day, played it all day from, I don't know what it was, 10 in the morning till, uh, I think it was like five at night. My wife was getting tired of listening to it. It was on all day, absolutely enjoyed it. And if you haven't picked up a copy of Analog Productions uh, Kind of Blue, I know probably everyone's kind of blued out when it comes to this album. Um, you know, we've been hearing a lot about it and there's been a lot of YouTube videos on it in the last uh, number of months. But guys, especially the second pressing, I haven't heard any issues with it in terms of sound wise. That's the one to get. So if you're looking for a Kind of Blue on vinyl, pick up Analog Productions Kind of Blue on UHQR. Now, just another quick note, later this year, Analog Productions is also gonna be releasing a 45 RPM version of the UHQR's Kind of Blue as well. So if you wanna wait for that, I believe, like they said, that will come out uh, later this year. But in the meantime, if you're a big jazz fan, big Miles Davis fan, and of course, Kind of Blue fan, I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong with this one. Beautifully packaged as well, um, comes with a really cool, book here uh, some really great pictures and a great write-up and overview of uh, the album as well which is really a really nice really nice uh, touch by analog productions and then of course you got the technical specifications manual here read through that it just talks about the whole um, process of the uhqr pressing really interesting stuff there have a look so until next time guys, I hope this is just a quick video. I was really amazed again by the clarity, by the sound stage, but the overall just um, the quietness of this album. It was, it's done fantastic, pressed beautifully. Pick one up, you're not gonna be disappointed. I mean, I still like my classic records, but the classic records one, it just has a little bit too much surface noise for me. And I know that is um, something that a lot of people that own this album have as well. But I mean, again, same metal was used, but overall sound wise, sound stage wise, analog productions, UHQR version, you cannot go wrong with that one. Pick one up if you can find one. Until, until next time guys, keep playing that vinyl, turning the music up really loud. We'll see you again.